Greetings and welcome. This is Luke Smith at RuralVacantLand.com. I'd like to show you a property I've got up for sale on the website. It's five acres for $1,800. That's that's pretty good size for not a whole lot of money. And uh, this is in Navajo County, Arizona. This is northern Arizona. And uh, this the owner of this property is Claire Harriet. Claire is... Uh, her email and phone numbers on the website I'll put a link in the description below of this video to get to this this part of the website about this property so you know eighteen hundred dollars for five acres where is this and what's going on first let's say property tax is on here it's eleven dollars or twelve dollars a year property tax and that's I like that bill so let's click on the GPS and see where we're at Loading here, I guess I gotta pull it up. The uh, let's zoom out. Now we'll zoom back in, see where we're at in the world. So this is North America. Let's do a political map. So we're in Arizona. And we've got Albuquerque over here, Tucson, Phoenix, Las Vegas, Los Angeles. You know, Salt Lake City, Denver. The this area has some bigger cities in it, but in the middle there's. There's a gap. There aren't any bigger cities in this area, so you get some cheaper land. Um, it's closer to the Navajo Indian Reservation, Navajo Nation Reservation. There's petrified national forests over here. There's uh, big forests up here. I mean, you can go skiing in these forests. And Flagstaffs, you go up, up the 40, it's like uphill, 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 and then you get into trees and a, a much different climate. Um, so it's neat to have the... Uh, the, the difference is not too far away. Um, Winslow, Joseph City, Holbrook are the, are the towns along Route 40 here that goes by the property. Joseph City's got, that's going to be the closest one to you. It's got a little high school and a middle school, elementary school, and just a lot of community spirit. Like these towns play those towns and those towns, you know, it's, they go back and forth um, like high school sports, right? So this town has two main roads out of the north side of town. North Porter Road on this side is probably going to be the easier route to get in here. And then you've got uh, Ronald Avenue. Ronald Avenue gets close, but there's kind of a wash in here. You might be able to get up these roads and pass through, uh, or you might, might be better off going through North Porter Road and around one of these and coming in from this way. You have to test both ways and see which one works the best. Both of these roads have cattle gates, and so... I've had a couple people shop and land up in this area, or buy and land. I've sold a lot of different properties in this area over time. Um, they get to the gate to the north side of town, and they say, I can't go there, there's a gate, can't go through the gate. And uh, it's if you, you know, one of the guys talked to the sheriff, and the sheriff says, oh, it's a cattle gate. It's to keep the cattle out of town, just keep close the gate behind you. You know, so it's that kind of... Um, atmosphere just close the gate behind you so you go through the gates close them keep the cattle out of town and um, this is open rangeland so there's cattle that roam this area and there's guys that keep track of the cattle they check in on them they drive around and watch them from time to time the ranchers of the area and so open rangeland they cross the countryside you know chasing the cattle following the cattle moving the cattle um, you move them from one area to the next it's healthier for the land bounce back and then the cattle got more to eat so they're always trying to move them around the uh that open range land makes it easier to access properties in the middle of nowhere too so you can cross the properties and go you know go to your property and figure it out from there and there's rules laws in arizona that you can't bar someone access to their private property so that's it's on your side as well so when you go out to visit one of these properties this one or one like it, you take these little roads out here. You know, there's different roads going in different directions. You have to follow them around and uh, come down to the property. And this one looks like it's at the top of a, a bit of a wash. It looks like there's people living kind of at the bottom of the wash down here. And I'm sure they, they're able to drive in one way or another. And um, maybe you can drive through these washes up to the property, maybe not. Maybe it's better to come in from the top side not exactly sure without being out there and um, it just looks like it's on the top here uh, looking out over the countryside so I think you get see if the little marker pop back up it's kind of on this corner um, you can look out over the countryside 
and have some views. So I think it's on a little bit higher topography looking out over the area and that's that could be a neat place to be. So that's the property, $1,800 for five acres there. Let's look at some lot lines. Um, so here's here's the lot line. It's got some, you know, it's that corner. It's some on the, the plateau or the higher up areas. And this database looks like there's some trails. I'm not exactly sure if those are trails or not. Um, to get into the property. And then... Um, There's some more, more lot lines. Yeah, so it's part part dropping off the edge and part up on the flatter stuff. And um, that's what gives you the view. So if you're interested in this one, please go to my website, ruralvacantland.com. And uh, there's a link below in the description. And you can ask questions to Claire if you like. and Or use the Buy It Now button to check out with it and start using it. There's more information on the website about finding land in the area and some of the amenities of the area and just a basic description and things. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. It's Luke Smith, ruralvacantland.com.